What did Jesus Christ expect people to do? How did he expect them to respond to his message? Many people don't understand. All they understand possibly is all Jesus wants us to love. But what has to come before the love of Christ? Well, you might think nothing. But let's take a look at the scripture to see exactly what Christ said. His very first public message was not one of love, although love is involved. It was something quite different. Notice in Mark chapter 1, in verse 14, we read, Now after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee preaching, first of all, the gospel of the kingdom of God. Jesus' basic message was a gospel or good news about a coming kingdom that would be set up on earth. But how do we get to that kingdom? How could we be a part of that kingdom? That's what he focuses on just as importantly. Verse 15, and saying, the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is at hand, so what should we do? Here's Christ's message. Repent and believe the gospel. Christ expects us to repent. If we want to be a part of the kingdom, if we want to be in God's kingdom, we have to repent. Now, no wonder that John the Baptist's message was what? He taught repentance, repent, and he baptized people. After Christ died, what was the apostles' message? Oh, yes, they preached the kingdom of God without a doubt. That's very clear from the scripture. But how does one get to that point? Peter, at the very first sermon on that first day of Pentecost for the New Testament church, when the church was formed, the Holy Spirit is given. What was Peter's message? It was, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. You see, once repentance takes place and we can receive God's Holy Spirit, then the love of God can be shed abroad in our hearts. So God wants a church of repentant people who then, because of their repentance, they're aligning themselves with God through repentance, can receive his Holy Spirit and be the kind of loving community that he expects.